My name is Melissa Kalina and I am the research botanist here at Coastal Maine Botanical Gardens and my work involves overseeing the research programs and the herbarium. An herbarium is a collection of plant specimens and specifically here our herbarium is a collection of pressed dried specimens um, of all different kinds of plants and our goal in this herbarium is to represent the flora of northern New England and Maritime Canada. About 80% of our plant specimens um, are from Maine and the other 20% represent uh, plant collections that have been made outside of Maine either elsewhere in New England, Canada and we have a few from elsewhere in the country as well. So the inspiration for the herbarium came with the offer of a gift of specimens to the gardens um, and my colleague uh, and botanist Dr. Allison Dibble offered to give her personal collection of specimens to CMBG back in 2014. And with that gift, um, I was able to speak with our board of trustees and garner support for uh, the founding of an herbarium here at the gardens. So the herbarium really supports two important arms of our mission here at the gardens, education and research. The educational aspect of our research involves um, teaching people all about plants and, and connecting them with plants in a really meaningful way. And so through the study of plant specimens, students are able to compare similarities and differences between different kinds of plants. Uh, we've also had art classes um, involving botanical illustration where art students can come and study specimens um, in great detail and take their time in climate controlled conditions and in that way they can get a very um, detailed and specific rendering um, of a plant's morphology. The way that the herbarium functions to support the research arm of our mission is that presently we're conducting a study of the flora of Midcoast, Maine, and all of the voucher specimens for that project are being deposited here at the Coastal Maine Botanical Gardens Herbarium. In directing the herbarium, my role is to help establish strategic goals for our collections here, including what kind of plants we'd like to see represented here in our collections, the number of specimens that we have. Also, I oversee the acquisition of gifts to the herbarium and also the inflow of specimens that we as the Botanical Garden staff and volunteers contribute to the collections. So presently, we're working on a goal of 3,000 specimens and we're um, really within, within sight of reaching that goal by the end of our fiscal year. We're, we're being really assertive in terms of growing our collection um, and we have a goal of 25,000 specimens eventually and we hope to have 5,000 specimens in the collection um, by the end of our strategic planning period. So the first step is really to acquire permission to make a botanical collection in the first place. So once you have landowner permission, the next step is to go to your field site and then uh, make a collection of the living plant in question. And you might use a tool such as a trowel or a hori hori to make sure that you can extract the plant um, from the ground. Then typically we store the plants in large plastic bags, almost like a large freezer bag, and that keeps them moist um, and fresh until we can get them back into the lab where we do most of our pressing. We then wash any of the soil that's remaining on the underground portions of the plant and then layered in between blotter paper and corrugated cardboard and then squeezed in a plant press. When the plants are dried, they can then be removed from the presses. So we have a team of about 20 volunteers and they come in regularly once a month to mount the plant specimens onto the archival paper that's used to store the specimens for the long term. And so that involves applying glue to the specimen and then laying it out onto the archival paper, fixing a label that tells where the plant was collected. 
the uh, plants have to be arranged in a particular way and then we are weighting the top of those and this allows the glue to cure while still exerting some weight and pressure on the top of the specimen so that they lay very flat. And at that point, uh, we enter the information on the label into our spreadsheets. And then the specimens are frozen. Um, and that's to prevent um, any pests from getting into our herbarium space. And then after the freezing, um, the specimens are then filed in uh, taxonomic order within the cabinets in our herbarium. While the herbarium began as one cabinet in an office space, we've recently been able to renovate a space that's entirely dedicated to the herbarium itself. And that includes this botany lab that you see behind us, which includes microscopes, a library, all of the uh, materials that we need to collect and press the specimens. We also have a climate controlled space, which houses our five herbarium cabinets. Um, it's pest free and with a special system installed to be able to keep the humidity and temperature at the optimal conditions for long-term preservation of the specimen.